Uh, my name's Darren Bowers. I work for Kaiser Permanente Southern California. I'm the regional simulation consultant and I've been working for Kaiser approximately two and a half years. Um, my background in simulation, um, I started in the United States Army. I was an Army medic and EMT. Uh, we practiced everything from uh, wounds, evacuation um, of the wounded, uh, medical care. After that, after I got out, um, went to school, was actually looking to become a physician's assistant, but uh, went another direction. Uh, while I was going to school, I started uh, working IT and audiovisual. And uh, after graduation, I started working with medical simulation. Um, I've been worked at a med uh, nursing school for two and a half years at Cal State Fullerton, and now two and a half years at uh, Kaiser Permanente as a simulation coordinator slash consultant there. We would, um, we, we believed in training to standard and everything. So what we would do is actually, we didn't have any mannequins back then. We'd actually get fellow soldiers and we'd put or make fake wounds and put them on them, mm -hmm. like uh, wax wounds. I was actually trained by special forces how to do these uh, simulated wounds and they were trained by Hollywood, believe it or not. So we would actually get a patient, a soldier, put on ripped up bloody clothes, make him up, put on fake blood, have him scream, yell, I've been shot. Um, and put them out in a simulated environment and the people would actually have to come up and treat them in those circumstances. And we'd have stuff like, you know, broken limbs that broke off of a tree and actually impaled them during like an explosion. And we'd have artillery simulators going off. So it actually sounds, it sounds of real combat to get people used to what they'd have to experience in the real life. Keep learning, never quit. So I something more you can learn. You know, I started the Sun event. Um, I went to my first one back in 2006, 2007. Uh, I found them very inform or very informative. Um, the great networking, reaching out to my fellow colleagues, and I just like enjoy them. I enjoy working with the Laird All Company. They're uh, very down to earth, very good people, and they help us out quite a bit. So. I, I like coming and learning, and I also like to um, work with other people. I spoke already. It was about the, um, the capturing of debriefings. Um, we were going over different audiovisual techniques, um, setting up recordings, you know, proper angle, focal points, stuff like that, as well as digi or maintaining digital archives, um, keeping things for a certain amount of time. Um, giving out information in accordance with uh, release contracts, um, i.e. if they are only supposed to keep it for educational purposes for a year, it has to be destroyed after a year and can't be used in some non-educational point of perspective. And then we actually show them some of the different techniques that they can use with some of the Laredal equipment and some other outside equipment as well. So kind of a crash course on how to record something. The importance is the debriefing is where the learning happens. The simulation is where they're actively going through it and experiencing it, but the debriefing is where it actually uh, bakes in, if you will, or, or ingrains, onto their, their, ingrains into their mind. And it's where they can actually discuss things and ways to improve upon performance. And there's always something that you can learn or improve upon. It's quite informative. There's always something new you can learn really is. There's always something new you can learn, either from the company itself or from other people that attend.